a year or two. This could never ever be anything else in the body except a ureter. Why? Because it's a relatively small structure. It has a little bit of a mucosal undulation or infolding. And if you zoom in on it, you will soon see this is classical transitional epithelium. This is a ureter. Notice a ureter, nothing more than a tube lined by transitional or urothelium, if you will with a little bit of loose connective tissue underneath and a uh, array, chiefly circular, of smooth muscle bundles, then uh, surrounded by connective tissue and fat. There is no serosa because the ureters are predominantly retroperitoneal, as is the kidney itself. So what more can we really say about it? Nothing. You have four or five layers of transitional cells. You have some blood vessels and collagen and looser connective tissue in the area directly underneath the epithelium. If you want to call this a submucosa, you may. Uh, you then have some circularly arranged smooth muscle bundles. You then may find some little nerves and blood vessels surrounding here. This looks like it could be a nerve. Here's a small blood vessel. That could be a nerve. Here's a very small blood vessel, perhaps a capillary or an extremely small vein. Here's a small artery. Here's the wall of a large artery. And uh, here is the fat or loose connective tissue pretty much surrounding everything. This is retroperitoneal fat. I thank you very much. No need to waste our time anymore on the ureter.